Hey y'all, Big Red here. Um, today's video is going to be on, I'm kind of doing a continuum of up church, up churches, not up church, shit. Sorry, I was listening to some up church songs just a minute ago and I got his name stuck in my head for some reason. But um, today's going to, I'm going to do the video, I'm going to throw out a couple ideas. Um, I'm going to do a continuum of Outlaws video on country music, what is it came to in this day and age. But before we get to this video, I'm gonna pack a lip. Copenhagen Mint, I'm fucking glad to have this shit. Fucking awesome. So, I'm gonna pack a lip of this and we'll get into it. And oh yeah, today I went fishing. We tried out two different ponds. The first pond I didn't catch shit. Second pond, we get there. A buddy, uh, I went fishing with my buddy and uh, he brought three of his friends and I were all out there fishing, having a good time. And, uh, and, uh, we're sitting there at the second pond, and we wasn't really catching anything. We were getting a couple hits, but we were all using topwater frogs, so, and, uh, the pond was real mossy on top. His buddy, the bass master is what they call him. I think he's just, I think he just has good luck, pretty much. But, uh, he caught a little, like, I don't know, maybe a pound, uh, I forgot what it was, a little brim, something like that. I couldn't see it from all the way across the pond. I just seen it, and I couldn't tell exactly what it was. And then he caught a five-pound bass, and I kind of moved over there. Hmm. There we go. Fucking when I pull my tongue back in my mouth, all the dip went under my tongue. But yeah, so freaking, I walk over there while they're dealing with all that crap. I'm I'm still fishing the banks. So I ended up catching a pound and a half bass, and the next thing you know, I got stung right here in the neck by a fucking bee. That bitch, it landed here, and I was like, "Fuck!" And I went like this to wipe it off. And when I did, he stuck me, and my neck like swelled up. It, it sucked. Okay, so back to the video. Before I get to the whole country music shit, I got an idea. I've been saving up a bunch of dip can lids. I throw I throw the bottom part, the plastic part away, and I'll keep the can lids. And I'm thinking about building a beer pong table. Fucking so thinking about be building a beer pong table for my dad. He's got some friends over. He could just be like, "Yo, let's go play some beer pong on this badass table that my son built." I mean, all I need is the uh, piece of plywood, some legs, fucking the dip cans, and then some clear coat. But yeah, so, to the video, I mean, country music is not country music anymore. If you, if you look at it, and you listen to it, if you go back and listen to like... Hank Williams Sr., Hank Williams Jr., fucking Willie Nelson, Merle Haggard, all of them. That's real country music. And, uh, you look at shit today, you got Luke Bryan, uh, fucking Hunter Gay, Hunter Hayes, uh, sorry, I said Hunter Gaze because that's what Outlaw said in his video, and I was like, hey, that's funny. But yeah, so... Freaking, if you look at them, man, back then, they were wearing Wranglers, boots, flipping birds, fucking, those are real badass motherfuckers, and if you don't believe me, I got Hank fucking Jr. on my wall above my bed. At first, it was a little intimidating to wake up and go, hey, what's up, Hank? What the fuck you doing staring at me while I'm sleeping? But you get used to it, I mean... I didn't have anywhere else to put it but the door, and the door would have wouldn't have fit on the door. So, well, if you look at it now, fucking the newer country, they're wearing they're wearing skinny jeans, flat bill hats. There's one guy that's got this long ass black hair. He looks like an emo fucker. Like, the fuck is country music came to? I'm like seriously. They call it pop country now. There isn't no such thing as just straight old country like it used to be. And, uh, kind of pisses me off because, man, fucking, 
I go to parties nowadays and everybody's listening to like some fucking either rap and if it's if it's parties with my boys we're listening to real country like olders like Hank Williams, Hank Williams Jr., Willie Nelson, Merle Haggard, Johnny Cash, all of them and then you go like you got a fucking redneck parties at buddies of ours houses and they're listening to this pop country shit and I'm like, what is wrong with y'all? Do you not understand this is not country music? This is just somebody... And, like, if you think about it, man, Nashville has taken over everything. Nashville is not the same Nashville it used to be. Honestly, if I was... I can sing. Honestly, I can sing pretty well. And if I was to ever become famous in, like, singing by chance... I wouldn't go to Nashville. There's no fucking way. I'd come up by myself. Because, uh, fucking Nashville is corrupt as fuck. They ain't letting them write their own songs. They ain't letting them fucking do anything. They're just a face, like Outlaw said. They're just a fucking face. Oh, you look like you can sing. Here, come over here. Be the face of, of this other songwriter that doesn't have the balls to get up in front of somebody or can't even fucking sing he's just a songwriter i mean it's it's fucking pure craziness and i'm like if y'all think about it it's it's kind of bass backwards if, if, if you honestly stop and just look at the big picture i mean I'm thinking about it right now, and I, the only way I can see it is money. Fucking everybody wants money. Money, money, money. Yes, I'm, I'm doing great without money. Fucking, I help support my family. I help pay the electric. I pay my dad's phone bill. I pay my phone bill. I help put food in the house, even though I don't have to. I just do it anyhow. If we go out to dinner and I'm not allowed to pay for dinner, I'll throw a tip down. And I don't tip lightly. I tip good tips. I mean, yeah. Is money good to have? Money money's pretty good to have. I mean, especially when you got an addiction like this. I mean, and I don't even call it an addiction. I can stop this shit any second I want to. But you know something? I'm not going to. Because you know something? On my Instagram not too long ago, I wrote a post. I was like, I was like, whenever you fall down and you feel like you have nobody else, I'm just, I think this is exactly what I said. I'm, don't mark me on my words. But I was like, when you fall down and you think you got nobody else, pick yourself back up, brush off your shoulders, pack a lip of coat because it, it always will have your back. And you know something? Copenhagen don't argue with you. Copenhagen don't bitch at you. Copenhagen don't ask for money. Even though you have to use money to get Copenhagen, but still. Unless you got a connection, I mean, if anybody's got a connection, let me know, because I want to get that connection, too. But, uh, I'm tired of paying fucking almost $5 for a can. It gets a little crazy. But, I mean, money is what's running this country right now. I mean, if you think about it, it's, it's, it's fucking insane. Insane with rap. I mean, I used, no, I'm not even gonna lie, I used to listen to rap. Like, Eminem. Fucking Tupac. Uh, I used to listen to old Dr. Dre, and excuse me for that, I didn't mean to burp. I just got done eating pizza, and it kind of wants to come back up. But I mean, I used to listen to old rap, and my sisters and brothers listen to this shit. I mean, the oldest one I got, I think, is 13 or 14. I forgot. I'm kind of confused. Their birthday's just passed, and it's all messed up in my head right now. Oh, no, they're 14. So I got two 14-year-olds, a 13-year-old, uh, 11-year-old, and a 10-year-old. They all listen to this rap. Rap. I mean, every other word is, it's like a word, cuss word, cuss word, cuss word, cuss word, cuss word, word, cuss word, cuss word, cuss word. It's like, who the fuck wants to listen to that? Pop in some fucking, pop in some Hank Williams and listen to that shit. Pop in some Waylon Jennings. Some George Jones, some George Strait. I mean, honestly, the reason them motherfuckers fell off the face of the earth is because of money. They weren't going to let money rule their life. I mean, 
if y'all if y'all just stop and look at the big picture, like I said, y'all would see that music nowadays sucks ass. Yeah, there's a couple good songs that are catchy, but I mean, if you think about it, they didn't write that shit. All they did was got up on stage and sung something else that somebody else wrote. I guarantee if you gave any motherfucker nowadays a pen and a piece of paper and told them to write a song by themselves and get up on stage and perform it, they'd fail they'd fail and fall flat on their fucking face. It's just common sense. I mean, I can go <clears throat> if Johnny Cash is still alive, I can walk up to him, hand him a pen and a piece of paper, say write a song, he'd write a song, get up on stage and sing it no problem. And it'd be a hit, just like that. No problem, no questions, just doing it. I mean, I can't even stand to turn on the radio nowadays. That's why I got my phone. I got playlists on my phone of fucking all the old country music. Yeah, I got country rap on there, but that's a whole genre by itself. And, I mean, yeah. I've seen it myself. I've went and seen some of them in concert. And no, they're not all real country boys. But you know something? They still rap about it. They make up the shit themselves. Nashville don't run them. Like, Redneck Soldiers, them are real boys right there. Fucking, I was supposed to go see them in February for a birthday present of mine. But instead, I did something completely different. Had a birthday party at my house, even though I was grounded. And as of the other day, I'm finally fucking ungrounded, so I went fishing today. I'm partying this weekend. And then tomorrow, I gotta fucking get a dentist checkup. They gotta clean my teeth. I'm like... I'm walking in that bitch with a dip in. Watch me. Fucking think if I care. Think thought he had fart and shit his pants. I mean, I don't give a fuck. But, uh, I mean, if y'all, if y'all like this video and actually listen to what I'm saying and stop and think about it and look at the big picture, comment and tell me if I'm right or wrong. Because I'm telling you now, I'm right. I'm right. All the music nowadays is ran by money. No one sings their own shit anymore. Unless you get some comer up that came up from, I don't know, the streets of Brooklyn or some shit like that. Or the sticks, whatever. I mean, yeah, they might stand a chance. But you know something, after a while, they're not going to be making money. They're going to go to Nashville and fucking get big money for doing nothing. Just getting up on stage and singing something that someone else wrote. But I mean, if y'all think, if y'all think I'm right, leave a, leave it, leave a... Leave your opinion in the in the comment box below because I really want to I want I really want to know who's with me on this because I've been thinking about this all damn day and I'm like man fucking outlaw is right he is fucking right I mean cut and not even just country music all music is not the same anymore it has changed dramatically it just went it was going up and then now it took a big U turn and was like going back down. None of this shit nowadays, it gives me migraines when I listen to it. And I don't even listen to it loud. I can have it on one and it'll give me migraine. Just the slightest fucking partial hearing of it kills me. It's kind of like someone taking their nails and scratching it down a chalkboard. It fucking makes me want to throw up. But I mean, like I said, if y'all think I'm right, if y'all think I'm wrong, leave your opinion in the comment box below. If y'all like this video, like, comment, share... And if you like any of my videos, man, follow. I need the followers, man. I, I'm, like I said, I'm working on better videos. Um, fucking, I got some good ones coming up in the future. I'm gonna get a bag of Red Man, hopefully this weekend and probably Saturday night, Sunday morning, something like that. I'll do a Red Man video. I probably do it Friday night, maybe. I'm not sure. But yeah, like I said, y'all like my videos? Subscribe, comment, like, share, whatever. But um. I'm Big Red, and I'm out, y'all.